What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Warehouse Series. If you guys are new, please join Discord. Uh, it, it goes hand in hand with my YouTube channel and is definitely going to help you guys out as a new selector. So, guys, if you want to do all this over here, I really appreciate it. Uh, so, let's get to Discord Friday. And I do have a video coming out tomorrow as well. It's my top 10 things that new selectors do wrong. All right, guys, the first three pictures we're going to look at are all the same order. And I do want to say something. Uh, I have mentioned this in the past. Uh, when you take video, I have to freeze it as it's panning around and we get blurry pictures like this. So if you could take still pictures, it'll be a lot better. Uh, but we could still see what's going on here. Uh, so I like different things. So this is a lot of bakery going on here. We did call them stack our bakery on the back, but I like the use of this slip sheet. It's a flimsy slip sheet. It's not something that's going to take up the whole palette. And all what it did was just tie in these bags a little bit better so they're not going to be uh, shifting too much. So I like how you uh, executed that, keeping the same cases together. Guys, when you uh, have light boxes that are crushable, the best thing to put on top of those if you're going to lay them on their side is the same exact box. So if you're going to get a lot of the same product, and you're laying a light crushable box on its side, put like cases on top of it and you're not gonna crush those boxes. So once again, I like how we executed that as well. Uh, this is a very nice looking palette. We're gonna zip right through these here. Uh, so let's look at the second one. We got some oils here. The only thing I would have done differently is just separate the oils. Uh, that's the only thing I would have done differently. Uh, it would have just stabilize this corner a lot better so take these oils and put them towards the middle of the palette and we won't have this lean coming in towards the middle of the palette uh, other than that it looks like we have that slip sheet in here as well uh, it's a smaller palette i tell you guys all the time pay attention to your cube if your cube is 40 or 50 like at our warehouse a full cube is 65 cube if i get a 40 cube or even a 45 cube i'm not putting that much thought into the uh you know into building it because i know it's not a full palette and it doesn't need that much attention as if i was building a you know a full cubed out palette so great looking palette you can stack and call them stack these and throw some slip sheets in like they did or you could actually tie these bags in as well all right the last picture of that same person uh once again just nicely done we stacked our buckets on the back and then we're trying to tie in we, we tied in a little bit here uh, even though we're leaning into the gap, but it's, this is tough. You know, I, I like how we didn't take this bucket here. See this, I just talked about this, I believe last week. I said, I always like big, strong corners, big cases on the corners, but every now and then you have to take one of those heavy cases and throw them in the middle or throw a lighter box on the outside. And we did just that because if we would have took this bucket and stuck it here. We're giving ourselves three buckets is probably our max. We don't want to go four buckets because now we're really risking a corner falling over. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. What do I say? When you have a high corner, a low corner, and you swap cases around, you get level again. We had our high corner, low. We swap cases around. We got level again. Even though it's slightly leaning in, which we want, but this is the epitome of what I talk about all the time. When you just swap high and lows together, you get that level corner again, and they did exactly that. All right, this next palette. Now, I've had, I don't know if the, you know, uh, certain things come up. I get so many questions on my uh, Discord and so many questions on my uh, comments underneath my YouTube channel. And someone said, uh, I thought, you know, you're supposed to build one palette first and then the other. Everybody has their routine on how they build. Some people build this back palette first, some people build the front. Now, the way that this order is looking here, we build the front palette up first and then we started building our back one. Uh, I told you down in dry goods, there are certain points in the warehouse that I just know is my second starting point and my second base. Uh, because you don't want to build this front palette up and have nice, strong product on the top of your front palette if you could use that for your second base. So it all depends on where you're throwing in the warehouse and what kind of product you're throwing. Uh, in order of like what palette are you building? Are you building two at the same time, one at this, one at one time, and then one at the other? Or are you doing what I'm doing? And, and I said that once you hit that base items for your second palette, you're going to start building your second palette. But this is very nicely executed. Uh, you know, we got nice tie-ins here, keeping the same cases together, bringing that weight distribution throughout the palette. We used a slip sheet, which is nice. Got a slight lean in, guys. You want that slight lean in, and that's the that's the uh, result of having a high corner with a low inside. Now up here, once again, we got a low inside with a uh, or a high inside with a low corner. When you're at the top of your palette it's irrelevant, all right? When you're up towards this top of the pallet, it's irrelevant. When you're down here, it makes a big deal that you have that high corner with that low inside. 
All right, guys, so I posted this picture on last Discord Friday, and I said there is absolutely no need to turn these juices upside down. You get the same result if you keep them upright, and uh, I believe this is Jeremy's order. I think Jeremy posted this as well. Uh, so here it is, guys. This proves right here that you could keep all of these cases upright and get the same result, if not a better result, because this is going to be a better solid palette because everything is upright. Now, with that being said, I also told you last week that I don't follow this block because even though this looks a lot better, look, we're hanging off the pallet on both sides. I don't like hanging these cases off the pallet because they are not a strong case because they are wrapped in this film instead of having a box around it. So what I like to do is I like to pull one out and even my gaps up and I don't follow the block on these. I, I do one case less so they are not hanging off the pallet at all and they're nice and square. But if you're gonna do this with the following the block, please keep your cases upright. As you can see, this is a heck of a lot better than this. All right, guys, another thing I've been noticing on Discord lately, uh, you know, just because I'm not that active talking on Discord, uh, I got a lot going on. As you guys know, I started an eBay store and I'm putting 110% into that eBay store right now uh, and I'm doing pretty good with it. So I'm, I'm going to keep pushing forward with that as well uh, as, uh, you know, posting these videos for you guys. Now, one thing I've been noticing on Discord is that people have been using stacks of wood to build a smaller cube palette. I always say my theory, we're not allowed to, they really don't want us doing this at our warehouse, uh, but it saves your back uh, big time. So my thing is, is if your warehouse allows you to do this, then do it. It ain't hurting anything. But I also want to talk about the product itself. Guys, keep your light cases together, especially column stacking in uh, produce. All these cases, see these little tabs sticking up? They all lock in together. Keep them together. Why would you take these three cases and separate them around the uh, pallet, all right? Keep them together. Right here, these three, they all lock in together. These lock in together. All these open box produce cases have tabs on them and they lock in very well together. So keep them together. I like the red potatoes sticking up in the middle to hold that up. I, I do that too sometimes. I'll, I'll stick a small bag upright. I try to not do it with bigger bags, but look how we kept all of our open boxes on one side and all of our solid boxes on the other. This is exactly how you want to do this. All right, guys, like I said, this is going to be a quick Discord Friday this week. I got another video coming out tomorrow, uh, so make sure you guys are keeping uh, an eye out for that. It'll probably be like afternoon time, Easter time. Uh, but once again, guys, another pro disorder, column stacking, keeping these all together. So even though this looks sketchy, uh, just by first view, it's not, because I just said all these open boxes got tabs so all of these are interlocked with each other it's almost like keeping is it's making it almost like you wrapped that corner it's locking this whole corner in together it's nice and solid looks like we have a slip sheet in here and we topped it off by tying in the two corners together this i think this is yoda mom it's just or seven tie <laughs> whatever your name is now just perfectly executed all right, guys, like I said, a quick Discord Friday this week. Keep uh, posting your pictures and uh, keep an eye out for that video tomorrow. If you guys want to donate to the channel and help me out, I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to uh, take a look at that eBay store, I got my warehouse series stuff over there. If you guys want to look over there and purchase a shirt, it's over on eBay so you guys can use your PayPal account. Uh, I just ask that you guys do the buy it now. Uh, so I don't have to pay to list it. I'm just doing a buy it now and I have a starting bid at 15, but please, if you guys don't, don't click the $15 for the bid, just buy it now for 20, I, you know, so I can break even on these shirts. I appreciate it. Uh, so that is that. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.